Your hair is super long. Can you make a hair routine? Yes, I can, Marta Romera. Let's do this. By the way, all of your comments pop up on my phone when you comment. If I see a cool, like, video request and I'm sitting down to film, I might just film your video. <laughs> like I'm gonna do right now. Hey guys, what's up? A lot of you always request hair routine videos and how to grow your hair. So today's video is about that. Also, if you didn't see, I'm giving a Canon G7X away to one of my subscribers when I hit 100,000 and we got, like, we gained 50,000 in the past four months, so I feel like I'm gonna be doing this giveaway a little faster than I anticipated, but we'll see. If you're already subscribed, you're entered, and it's, you're, you're good to go. I love this camera because I vlog on it every day and I'm posting my vlogs on my main channel now. If you didn't know that, now you do. It's very hot out today and I've got a ring light on me and I've got sunlight on me. <sighs> I grew my hair about 15 inches in the past year and a half, which is literally crazy because I thought I was incapable of growing my hair. I was at a point where I was like, it's not gonna happen for me. Like, I just don't think, I don't know. I just, I felt so hopeless at one point. It was really sad. And I just felt like I couldn't grow my hair and that it was always falling out and it just, it was sad. So I wanted to make this video to give you hope if you're trying to grow your hair out or if you just want it to be a little healthier because my hair is not only longer, it's a lot healthier now. The last tip I have is like, I didn't even know this until a few months ago and I figured it out by myself and literally I've never heard this tip anywhere else and it's the main reason why my hair grew. So just get excited, get excited. First of all, I wash my hair like two, three times a week. Um, I would say three times a week and I use the Redken um, Blonde Idol Sulfate Free Shampoo. Um, and then the Joyco Color Balance Purple Conditioner. This helps with keeping the brassiness out. And I've always liked the line Joyco. I just, I don't know, I like their stuff. So this is what I use. And then I use this Tresemme Keratin Smooth Flat Iron Smoothing Spray. And this is the only thing I put in my hair after I wash it. I do not put in like a smoothing serum. I don't put any other thing in my hair anymore. I only use one product. Let's get into how I grew my hair super long so you can grow your hair super long too. First tip I have is to do not blow dry your hair um, when you don't have to. I don't blow dry at all anymore. I haven't blow dried my hair in like a year. The second tip is to use sulfate free um, because I do know it is healthier for your hair. Third thing I did was I cut down on the products I'm using in my hair. I used to use like Chi, um, Silk Infusion. I used to use like a lot of products after I would wash my hair because I wanted to like take care of it. But what I realized I was doing was like building up a lot of stuff. So now I just use one spray and Curatin is known to help your hair grow. So I just use Curatin Smooth by Tresemme, it's like $4. So I feel, I feel like that's kind of a good deal. The next thing I do is I try not to use like I try not to flat iron or curl my hair as much. So I've gotten more, and if you've been watching my vlogs lately, I've been getting more into like the beachy look, which basically means I just don't use my flat iron. Um, my hair is naturally really like wavy and kind of thick. So I just let it be that way. I straightened it for the video today so I can show you how long it actually is, but it's actually more like poofy than than this looks right now. This tip you probably haven't heard before, but I use coconut oil on my face as a moisturizer. What inevitably you use on your face will get into your hair a little bit. So it acts as sort of like a moisture mask for my hair because I sleep with this coconut oil on my face and it kind of like rubs up into my hair and I've ended up realizing that it's like been moisturizing my hair for the past couple months. The next tip is to not cut it every time you go in to color it. I go in to color my hair like every, eight to ten weeks and I only cut it every other time so what is that I cut it like every four months and I only dust the ends which means she only trims the pieces that need trim I don't actually get like a full-on like trim if that makes sense but when you go in don't trim your hair every time let it grow and you can actually my hair was not able to do this when it was super unhealthy and dry but I had to like kind of wait and then it eventually got to the point where like it was so healthy that I didn't have to trim it every single time. So that just takes a little bit of time. But if you stop using a bunch of heat on your hair, your hair will really improve in health, which is what mine did. This next tip is a tip I have never heard from anyone else. And it was literally the reason why my hair was unable to grow. I will show you a picture of what it would look like when I started YouTube. This is what my hair looked like. And it was here, I'll do this. So it there's room for the picture. <laughs> um, it was like unable to grow, not, 
it just wasn't growing. And I remember setting a new year's resolution for like, okay, I need to figure out why my hair isn't growing. Cause I've had long hair before and I don't know why it's not growing now. Like I'm taking biotin, I'm taking vitamins. Um, I was taking all these things and I was, I, was, I don't know, I was, like I thought I was doing all the right things. I used to live in downtown Minneapolis and when I moved to the suburbs south of Minneapolis, I started going to a different hair person and as soon as I started going to her, my hair started to like incrementally grow. We figured out almost a year and a half later after I had grown my hair like 13 inches. So I used to get foils, which would like bleach my hair kind of, but it would lift the color. When they take the foils out, I remember sitting back on that like, you know, when they, they wash your hair after you have foil in your hair. And she would basically take the foil out and run it through the whole hair as she was taking it out. That was inadvertently really damaging my ends because like when you get your hair lightened you don't normally get the ends lightened they kind of stay light you have to get your roots lightened so they put the foils here they put the bleach here but then she would be pulling the foils out through my ends i remember not thinking anything of it but then my new hairstylist was like yeah it's not good for your hair to have like foils be pulled through the ends because then you're pulling bleach onto it, you're drying out your ends and your ends are just gonna keep falling off and getting shorter and shorter. And that is exactly what was happening to my hair. And so when I went to her, she would actually unfold the foil and just take it out rather than pull it through the end. And that honestly made the biggest difference. Like I stopped getting split ends, I stopped getting dry hair, I my hair started growing again. If you are finding that your hair is really damaged from like coloring it, don't put color or bleach or whatever harsh chemicals on the ends of your hair because it'll end up drying them out and then it'll just break and break and break, which is why my hair was up to here and it was literally getting shorter every single time I got my hair colored. My hair is as long as it's ever been now. This is like crazy amounts of long for me. So I just wanted to share with you guys like how I got it this long because I don't feel like I've ever heard a lot of these tips from anyone else before and these took me just trial and error and years of trying to grow my hair out to figure it out. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and remember to turn on notifications for my channel because I'm posting my vlogs and my main channel videos here now. So if you want to, I would recommend turning on your notifications for your favorite 10 YouTubers because then you don't have to check your subscription box all the time. You can just like be notified and then you can like choose to watch the video if you want. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I like doing that because then I don't have to like go back to the YouTube app and check all the time. And it just, it cuts down for me like looking at social media all the time. And I'm taking your guys' video suggestions. This video is because you guys suggested it. So leave your comments. Hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you guys tomorrow. I won't live.